In this video, I will consider one numerical on star delta transformation. Using star delta transformation, find resistance between M and N for the network shown below. This is the given circuit. We are supposed to find the resistance between M and N. So that is R, M, N we are supposed to calculate using star delta transformation. Now let me redraw the circuit. This is the given circuit. So here we can see that, let me call this as node A, B, C and D. 1 ohm, 2 ohm and 2 ohm. That is resistance connected between A, B, C and A are in delta fashion. Similarly, the resistors 2 ohm, 2 ohm, 2 ohm. That is B, D, C, B are connected in delta fashion. So we will try to convert either this A, B, C, A or B, D, C, B into star. So here all the register values are same. So I will try to convert this delta into star. So while converting delta into star, the resulting star network should will look like this. That is between this node and this node. And here the register fashion will, will appear like this. Let me call this register as RA. I will call this register as RB. This register as RC. So RA, RB, RC are equivalent star registers which are connected between same nodes that is B, D, C and B. So first let me find RA, RB and RC values. So to find RA, so we supposed to convert this delta into star. So RA, RB, RC are star values. So RA will be equal to product of adjacent registers that is here we have RA adjacent to this we have 2 and 2 that is 2 into 2 divided by sum of these all registers that is 2 plus 2 plus 2 that is 2 plus 2 plus 2 which is equal to we have 4 divided by 6 which is nothing but 2 by 3. So similarly here all the register values are same which are in delta so all star values will also be same therefore here rb is equal to here we can see rb is equal to again it is 2 into 2 divided by 2 plus 2 plus 2 that is nothing but 4 by 6 which is nothing but 2 by 3 similarly even rc is 2 into 2 divided by 2 plus 2 plus 2 that is rc is also 4 divided by 6 which is equal to 2 by 3 now let me redraw the circuit considering star so i will redraw the circuit that is these two registers will appear as it is this is 1 ohm so here we have 2 ohm so now here we have ra so ra is connected between so this is node a this is b and this is c here we have ra this is ra this is rb and this is rc which is connected to node d so value of this is 2 by 3 so 2 by 3 is nothing but 2 by 3 is 0 0.667 so let me so its value is 0 0.667 ohms this is also 0 0.667 this is also 0 0.667. So this node D, another register 3 ohm is connected. So this is 3 ohm. And here to node A, 1 ohm register is connected. That is, here we have 1 ohm. So this is terminal M. And here we have terminal N. Here we can see that 1 ohm and this registers are in series. Similarly, 2 ohm and 0 0.667 are in series. Here also 0 0.667 and 3 are in series. So let me simplify this circuit further. So here these two values are in series. So I will simplify this further as. So this is 1 and 0 0.667. Both are in series. That is 1 plus 0 0.667 is. We have 1 point. 667 similarly here 2 and 0 0.667 are in series so it will be addition 0 2.667 so this is the node 
year 3 and 0 0.667 are in series. So this will be the node. So here it is 3.667. 3.667. So here this, this node is nothing but A node. So here we have one ohm register is connected. That is one ohm. It is connected to terminal N and this is nothing but terminal N. So this is the same circuit. Here we can see that 1.667 and 2.667 are in parallel. That is 1.667 is parallel with 2.667. Let me find the equivalent value of this. So equivalent value of this will be 1.667 into 2.667 divided by sum of these two values. That is 1.667 plus 2.667. If two registers are in parallel, the equivalent value is product of registers divided by sum of registers. So solving this 1.0 so let me redraw the circuit. These two registers are replaced by a single value. That is, we have 1.0258. Now this register will come in series with this. That is, here it is 3.667. So it is connected to terminal N. So now this one ohm will appear in series with this. That is, this is one ohm connected to terminal M. So therefore, now we can see here that the equivalent resistance between M and N is RMN, which is all are in series. That is 1 plus 1 1.0258 plus 3.667. Therefore, we have RMN is equal to, we will get 5.692 ohm. So this is the equivalent resistance between terminal M and N. Thank you for watching.